Hi, everybody, and welcome to The Home Show. Mike Pace is my name. You know, we like to say it really does matter who your builder is. Iowa Realty Sharon Rooney will talk to us about what you see in this beautiful ranch home in Clyde by SJ Home Builders and what you don't see. And then a spectacular Great Iowa Home special feature at King's Landing in West Des Moines with a four-car garage, a second kitchen, a view of the pond, and smart home technology. And Sachi Kalra will be there for the tour. We'll meet up with Chantel Cooney and uh, find out how you can help fill the bus with school supplies as we sneak up on back to school with the Iowa Realty Foundation. And then we'll revisit a great Iowa home in Shadow Creek and Clive with Lucrezia Moore, 7,300 square feet of pure luxury. So that's the menu. Stay with us. Let's get things started in West Des Moines. We begin with Stephanie Wright from Iowa Realty in West Des Moines with a four bedroom, four bathroom home, one owner home on about half an acre here, 3,200 plus square feet and a lot of nice features. Brand new listing, 549.9. Open house with Frank Hansen today. Four bedroom ranch with four bath areas. Ashworth Estates neighborhood, better than 4,500 square feet here. A three season porch, triple garage, convenient spot, 462.5. Cambria Morris from Iowa Realty with open house one to three. She wants to talk townhomes at Covenant Cove. Better than $49,000 in upgraded items on this particular unit, 370 and change. It's loaded, open house one to three. Deborah McGee also with open house one to three, a two-story townhome in Mill Ridge, about 2,200 square feet here. You'll see that it's been meticulously cared for. A lot of great features not included in the new ones down the street. Next up, Jim Bear, as we go to Waukee and a four bedroom, four bathroom, picturesque story and a half overlooking the pond at South Fork, wonderful neighborhood. A lot of curb appeal, a lot of updates, the roof, the siding, the deck, 729. Open house one to three with Tom Malicote. Paramount is the builder. No closing costs with a preferred lender and ask about $5,000 toward your upgrades. Financing on existing inventory and 10,000 toward a custom home. Next up, Ken Whitehead with open house one to four, three bedrooms and two baths. Brand new price of $465,990. Neighborhood is Kettlestone Ridge, new neighborhood in Waukee near the park. And Ken will be there from one to four. Next up, Layla Frazee as we go to Urbandale. Stunning contemporary here, very modern uh, ideas, cutting edge design, top of the line features, attention to detail, 17 foot ceilings, big windows, $699. Sharon Rooney from Iowa Realty with MJ Custom Homes at work here. A nice four bedroom, four bathroom home. Eastern sunlight, big Anderson windows, engineered hardwood floors. A lot of things you don't see that will make it a great home, 569. Another new listing, Danny Avakovich with four bedrooms and four baths. Rare find at Urbandale, a two story priced at 355. Roof, new furnace and air, nearly new. Primary bedroom has updated light fixtures, walk-in tile and granite shower, 355. Connie Ridgeway, townhome living at Urbandale, two bedrooms, two baths, amazing price of 188.9. Another new listing, schools and parks nearby. This is Waukee School District, peaceful setting, trees, privacy. Another new listing, Aaron Doherty Lemon now with two bedrooms and two baths, better than a thousand square feet here. Privacy, nice back deck, the Urbandale Clive Interurban Bike Trail nearby. You can build some equity if you're renting 188.5. Tiffany DeHaan as we go to Clive and something spectacular, a great Iowa home in the woodlands, 7,000 plus square feet, extensive renovations in the last couple of years, no expense spared, a million four ninety nine nine ninety nine. Next up, Roger Severson with open house one to three, four bedroom home in Walnut Creek Hills. 4,000 square feet roughly, big gourmet kitchen, family room overlooks a double-sided fireplace, stunning primary suite, 785. An open house two to four today with Sharon Rooney and a four bedroom, three bathroom home in the city of Clive, 10 and 11 foot ceiling heights, and just lots of great features and high quality from SJ Home Builders. Price tag is 769. Follow Iowa Realty TV on Facebook.
Sharon Rooney from Iowa Realty is with me, one of my favorite guests, by the way, over the years. And, you know, I said, Sharon, at the top of the show that uh, in this beautiful SJ Home Builders Ranch, uh, we're going to talk about what you see and what you don't see, <laughs> but what you see is pretty nice. It is pretty nice. Thank you, Mike. Well, what you see is a beautifully designed and built home by SJ Home Builders. And we're talking about um, some 11 foot ceiling height, some 10. Uh, varying ceiling treatments. This is a wow house. It's a memorable house. It it's, sure is. It makes an impression. It's a statement house. Absolutely. And these great big marvelous windows uh, on a beautiful backyard with room for a pool <laughs> in this uh, 90 degree plus weather, right? <laughs> That's a good idea. Well, and you can see our cabinetry goes all the way to the ceiling. We have just a fabulous tile person. There's a wonderful walk-in pantry that also has that little door uh, to the garage so you can drop your groceries and make life easy. And on this main level, Sharon, a designated office. Mm -hmm, that's right. And a bedroom, a full bath. And then around the corner in a little private setting is that primary suite. And it is filled with glamour. You really need to come to today's open house and see it. <laughs> but also the suite is beautiful too. Soaking tub, beautiful walk-in tile shower, scrumptious, lovely closet. It's really a nice home. Everywhere you look, a fabulous uh, light fixture, chandelier. Mike, I'm really glad you brought up the lighting because I really think that lighting is the jewelry of the home and this house has beautiful jewelry. Now, don't you dare call this a basement, Sharon. <laughs> this is a lower level of living, wow. Yes, it is. And this is a wonderful entertainment space, second family room, great windows here. We have an exercise space and also two more bedrooms and a full bath with a total of 1,900 square feet of finish in this lower level. And all kinds of surprises. <laughs> <laughs> this could be a storm shelter or a wine cellar. Sharon, what we've seen is absolutely spectacular. What don't we see that makes this a great home? What we don't see, well, these beautiful windows that we do see are Anderson windows. So right. that's a wonderful thing. Exactly. Spray foam insulation in the rim joist where the house meets the foundation really helps with heating and cooling costs. Um, the home was built by a builder who was basically here every day. So that makes a difference. And it's just a fabulous, wonderful home. SJ Home Builders, that's the builder. 2,100 square feet roughly here on the main level, plus that 1,900, you're looking at 4,000 square feet of design and luxury that you're gonna love. Come and see it this afternoon with Sharon Rooney from two to four, thank you. That's right, thank you, Mike. <laughs> This is Johnston and seven acres, the setting here. Some privacy, hardwood trees, abundant wildlife, a big pond, country life in the city, open floor plan, gourmet kitchen, primary suites is stunner, a million four hundred. Karen Helgeson now with four bedrooms and four baths, a remodeled story and a half in the heart of Johnston. About half an acre, the setting. Main floor, spacious entry, big owner's suite. There's an office, a generous sized kitchen with pantry, 774, 990. This is Grimes and Scott Steelman with a five bedroom, three bathroom home. Ask about a two one interest rate buy down. This could be really a great opportunity for you. A lot of updates here. Wonderful home, no backyard neighbors, 565. Layla Frazee and Grimes with five bedrooms and four baths, about 2,900 square feet in all. Another new listing, open concept, nice seamless flow between the living room, dining area and kitchen. Wonderful primary bedroom and a price of 520. Dan Veerling now also in Grimes, open house one to three, 2,600 plus square feet here, front to back open floor plan, five bedrooms, three baths, fully finished lower level, uh, new interior paint, new roof, and 399.9. Also in Grimes, open house one to three with Vicki Lobig, a five level split, lots of updates, including the master, the shower, the roof, the gutters, the downspouts, of course those great Dallas Center Grimes schools, quick commute, 345. Next up, BJ Knapp, as we go downtown, and how about that view from your rooftop patio? Wow, open house one to three, 
three bedrooms and four baths, a couple of big bedrooms with ensuite bath areas and that rooftop patio, 425. Gerald Steenhook with four bedrooms, two baths, a new price here of 420. It's had one owner in 60 plus years, believe it or not, ready for a new family. A quiet street, big yard, 420 is that price. John Smith now, four bedrooms and three baths, great Beaverdale location here. Uh, this home has been cared for nicely for better than 20 years. Walking distance to Snooky's, brand new listing, what more do you need to know, 385. Next up, Sarah Gaskell with open house one to three. The Edison is all about location, its proximity to everything downtown, access along MLK to Principal Park, East Village, Grease Lake, Papa John Sculpture Park, quality living downtown, 252. Jamie Smith with three bedrooms, two baths, nice uh, northwest neighborhood, private cul-de-sac street, another new listing. Walking trail at the end of the cul-de-sac takes you right to the Hills Elementary Playground, 229.5. Greg Weinshank from Iowa Realty wants to talk to you about this unique property. It's worth a look. Upper level has a couple of executive suites with two bedrooms, living area, family room, laundry. Uh, located near the Grub YMCA. Lots of different potential. Sue Randleman with open house, one to four. This home sits on a double lot tucked in the trees. She'll be there from one to four to talk about it. Nice brick ranch, large living room, first floor laundry, double detached garage, 164.9. Logan Bryant with a smaller home. If big square footage isn't necessary or if you're renting, would like to build some equity. Fully renovated bathroom and kitchen, all new appliances, new drywall, 1099. Matt Fuelberth with a two bedroom home, priced at 108. Again, affordable, move in ready home, downtown Des Moines. This is an investor friendly opportunity, I have to say. Fully remodeled, 108. Scott Eiler, Open house one to four today. We were there on location a couple of weeks ago. Nice five bedroom, four bathroom, turnkey home. Wonderful Northwest Ankeny neighborhood with no backyard neighbors. Great features, clean as a pin, 434.9. Chantel Cooney from Iowa Realty with four bedrooms and four baths. The original builder, Strawn Homes, Southwest Ankeny here. Big fireplace and built-ins in the main living area, new carpet, big ensuite bath area. Wonderful, 395. Julie Holt in Ankeny, nice three bedroom ranch. It's all brick uh, near the high trestle trailhead. It's plumbed for another bath on the lower level. Pella windows, new roof and air just recently. Water heater furnace also updated and a price of $269.9. Find us on YouTube at Iowa Realty TV. Like and subscribe. Is that a view or what? That's what you see if you live here from your living room in your kitchen. I'm with Sachi Kalra with Iowa Realty in King's Landing, West Des Moines in the Waukee School District. What a fabulous home. Oh, it's just amazing. And what is so surprising, Mike, not a single showing. Where are these folks? They need to come and check this out. <laughs> well, if it's a secret, we're gonna let the cat out of the bag today, okay? Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> but this lovely lake is a, a view from uh, everything on the main floor here and it's it's recreational as well as visual right absolutely you know why um great neighborhood you could see today you don't see but there are there are family canoeing kayaking uh having wine listening to music it's just a beautiful atmosphere in this five bedroom ranch that backs into this beautiful pond this ranch was built by paramount homes in 2018 but here as i see it it looks brand new it does it just i mean these are squeaky clean homeowners and now ready for new buyers. Yeah, so five bedrooms, four bath areas. Yes. And let's have a walk to the kitchen here because this big area here is where people live. We talk about that on the show, but it's where families like to gather. It's a great party spot. And look at this extra huge center island, which is very rare to find. You know, just beautiful, just beautiful all around. Look at all the windows and the beautiful view. Talk about the primary bedroom. So primary suite backs into, with all these beautiful windows, to the pond. Nice setup, nice view. And then we have the two other bedrooms right by the front entry. Mm -hmm. 
Sachi, again, we're showing off this gorgeous view over my shoulder here of the small lake in the neighborhood. And this is a nice little walkout arrangement, isn't it? It Lovely. is. You know, it's, um, I don't know what the technical word or terminology, sometimes we just use in a different way. Walk out, walk up, because you have flight of steps coming from a patio, bringing you in, and then the basement goes and other flights down. But just a beautiful setup, nice landing here, and then it leads you to the second kitchen and two other bedrooms. Show me some more. Yes. So here we are on the lower level, Sachi, with a second fireplace, some nice build-ins, and wonderful kitchen bar area. Very nice. You know, uh, kids would love to hang out here and throw their parties. So would I. Yes. Sachi, here we are on the covered deck. There's also a patio to my right, a patio to my left. Uh, I'd be outside all the time. I mean. Can you imagine hosting your guest here, barbecuing, grilling? I mean, this is a fantastic spot and in enough yard still to put a pool if Absolutely. somebody wanted to. It's swim season. And again, this lake is such a magnet for people, you know, to, as you said, look or kayak, have fun with whatever. Just gorgeous. In review, bedrooms and bathrooms, five bedrooms, five bedrooms. four baths. Yes. And then 400 plus square feet. Heated four-car garage. Yeah. I mean, that is where you're going to find a four-car garage. Very rare find. Hey. I'm not sure we mentioned we are surrounded by lovely homes, obviously. What's our price here? Eight eighty nine nine. All right. And it will cost you more to build. Oh, it absolutely would. So many things to talk about. And Sachi Kaura is our Iowa Realty Professional to talk to for a private tour. You're going to love it. Thank you. Thank you. Go to Iowa Realty TV on YouTube and Facebook for our featured home tours. Hear about communities where you might want to live, home design trends, and more. For what's happening in the housing market, it's Iowa Realty TV. Well, Iowa Realty has been the leader in our marketplace for 70 years now. And what does a leader do? It gives back to the community. And through the Iowa Realty Foundation, Iowa Realty has done that for that full 70 years and it's, we're not stopping now. With me today is Chantel Cooney, who is sales manager with Iowa Realty South Regional Office. Great to see you. Yeah, it's great to see you again, Mike, and welcome. We're so happy to have you guys here. Well, there's a lot of energy when I come out to see you because you're up on cloud nine most of the time <laughs> and, and it, it seems to be infectious with your people. I like that. I, my feet never stand still. Well, you know, uh, I didn't realize until I saw this list the things that kids need now in school. I know. Uh, hand sanitizer, Kleenex, backpacks, notebooks, calculators, crayons, scissors, markers. It just goes on and on, and it costs a lot of money. It does. And there are families and, and kids' families that can't mm -hmm. afford it all, right? Right. That's what this is about. Tell me about it. Yeah. So, you know, Iowa Realty started a foundation. That we are committed to the community. We took a look at the community. We saw a need. The foundation just grew through the company and great mm -hmm. agents that saw the value of our name and the resources that we could give back to the community. So we have quarterly and monthly fundraisers that we do in the community. And this is one of our biggest ones. Fill the bus. That's right, fill the bus. <laughs> and it was actually Jody Hawley, one of our agents oh. out of the Altoona office that brought this idea to the foundation and it has just grown to this status here. So each of the Iowa Realty offices are collecting school supplies. Starting tomorrow, the 31st of July through the 11th of August, you can drop off supplies at any Iowa Realty office in the central Iowa. That's right, and we will collect it and we will get those to the schools in need. We've reached out to the schools and talked about their Great needs. Great program and you can do monetary donations as well. It's filled the bus. And stop by an Iowa Realty office and see how you can help. Thank you very much, Chantel. Thanks, it's great Mike. to see you. Keep up the good work. I will. Thank you so you much. We appreciate it. We like to call it the home stretch. And let's go to Altoona, Iowa, in a five acre setting for this unique property. It's a two story home with double detached garage a couple of barns on the property and a chicken coop. It's been in the family since 1925. Stone house, clay tile roof, wow, 535. Julie Campbell, Altoona address, four bedrooms and five baths. Wyatt Woods is the neighborhood. A wonderful kitchen, 
oversized island, primary suites, a really nice one, 3,000 square feet here at a price of $399.9. Ted Grobe in Indianola with what may be the lowest priced single family new construction in the metro from Savannah Homes, 50 year plus experience and a price tag of $328.9, uh, city tax abatement and much more there. And Ted can show you a couple of homes on the cul-de-sac here and uh, graduated tax abatement and that uh, zero down USD financing available. And this price is $319.9 with four bedrooms and three baths. This is Norwalk, about a thousand square feet here, three bedrooms and two baths. Leela Bales, like to talk to you about it. Well-maintained, affordable, priced at $230. All new waterproofed LVP flooring in that lower level, again $230. Well, this could be the beautiful site for your dream home near the city, but a country feeling near Norwalk, 2.31 acres, all the city amenities in place and utilities. And Kim O'Connor wants to talk to you about it, 229. Let's go to Adele now, open house one to four with Gerald Steenhook. Uh, 2021, this contemporary two-story was built. It has smart home automation, very energy efficient, room for a pool, and a good price of $349 in Adel. Nick Scar with an Adair address, an easy hour west to Adair from Des Moines. Uh, ask about $2,500 in closing costs here. Lower level unfinished, ready for some extra potential square footage, priced at $299.5. Dallas Center now, this community is going to grow and you can build some equity by getting in early. Deborah McGee will be there from one to three to talk about Paramount Homes, great opportunities. $384.9 for this nice ranch, $5,000 toward your upgrades or a buy down. Paul Barnes also uh, will be in Dallas Center talking about Paramount Homes. Here's another nice ranch, four bedrooms, three baths. Uh, again, tax abatement, $5,000 to use how you might, $398.9. Jessica Coyle from Iowa Realty. This is Lake Living at Diamond Head Lake, just about 35 minutes west of Des Moines. And of course, the boating, the fishing, the beaches, the ATV trails, the golf, and the playgrounds, and a good price on this home of $199. And to Colfax we go, four bedrooms. Heather Rollins wants to show you this great farmhouse on just over half an acre, just outside the city limits. Lots of the updates, long list of them, including the roof and the water lines, 315. This is Boone, Iowa, and Sachi Kalra with a five bedroom, four bathroom home. And it's totally unique with a 10,800 square foot detached garage for your workshop, park your big truck, and other heavy equipment. It's amazing, $499.9. This is Newton, Iowa, half hour to the east, and Steve Camerona with a three bedroom, two bathroom home. A brand new listing, about a half an acre, oversized uh, double garage and an enclosed front porch for $139.9. And Annie Leonard with a Knoxville address. It's all new and move in ready, this lovely four square, brand new listing, four bedrooms, three baths, some charm here, and completely redone, priced at $265 in Knoxville. Well, I have Always look forward to working with Lucrezia Moore from Iowa Realty because she's such a pro and I can always guarantee that it's gonna be a spectacular house. And wow, <laughs> what, that comes to mind. This is unbelievably stunning. Thank you, Mike. It's always fabulous to see you. Yes, isn't this the most exquisitely craftsmanship built home that you've seen in our market? I'm so excited to show you today. Now this was originally built by Colonial Homes and I defy you to tell that it was ever lived in. It's that spotless. It really is. Immaculate home ready for a new homeowner. Story and a half, loaded with six bedrooms and six bathrooms and en suites galore, fireplaces everywhere. Features amazing everywhere you look. So let's go take a closer look, shall we? So we're in Shadow Creek in the city of Clive, which is a very sought after neighborhood. And Lucrezia, this is kind of the, you know, kind of the crown jewel of this neighborhood. It really is. The way that this home was situated on this particular lot gives you some privacy of your deck in addition to a walkout uh, off the stairway here, which is near the kitchen. Um, great for entertaining too. Story and a half plan, which is uh, very functional, very livable. 
and dramatic at the same time. The view from very the catwalk true. is absolutely amazing. We'll see that. It is, an, in fact, this home is a very unique floor plan with an owner suite on each of the floors, as well as laundry on each of the floors, uh, a chef's kitchen with an exquisite uh, features for appliances, as well as a hidden pantry with the convenience of that grocery door to the garage. Wow. They haven't forgotten a thing. This custom built home has every feature that you can think of. Well, 7,300 plus square feet, six bedrooms and six baths. The garage arrangement is really unique because there's a breezeway between. I uh, agree, yeah. yes. With the additional third stall has a 10 foot garage door. Great for a uh, vehicle such as an RV or boat, some something of that nature of someone's needs. And the big windows, which are nowadays uh, energy glamorous. efficient, are just incredible in terms of letting in that natural light. I agree, very glamorous home, uh, and then great for a family, great for entertaining. The lower level finish is so spectacular as well. You know, I don't throw those spe the uh, spectaculars around a lot, the, the, you know, the, super, uh, you know, the uh, over the top, verbiage, but this place deserves it because it's that amazing. It truly is. I agree. This is such a, a marriage of style and function. I mean, as beautiful and dramatic and uh, gorgeous as it is, uh, it's functional, everything works. It really is, from sitting by the fire reading a book or having your family over all your friends and entertaining a large uh, number of people, it fits every style of living. Absolutely, if you just joined us, we're in Shadow Creek, Colonial Homes, the original builder of this magnificent story and a half. I'm throwing <laughs> out the superlatives today because this home deserves it. it. 7,300 plus square feet of pure luxury and beauty and Lucrezia Moore wants to give you the personal tour and it'll look that much better in person, I promise. I agree, 100%. <laughs> Lucrezia Moore is at our Mills Crossing office, our fabulous new Iowa Realty office on Mills Civic Parkway, waiting for the phone call. Give her a ring and have a closer look at this place. Thanks for having us, this was fun. Oh, thank you, it was so much fun to show you this glamorous home. So that's our show. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to Sharon and Lucrezia and Sachi, our Iowa Realty pros. And don't forget, Sharon Rooney will be open from 2 to 4 today, that beautiful ranch from SJ Home Builders. And don't forget, you can help us fill the bus with school supplies with the Iowa Realty Foundation. Check out any Iowa Realty office or Iowa Realty agent for details. And don't forget us on the YouTube and Facebook. Until next time on The Home Show, Mike Pace, have a great week.